Today, we're going to talk about how to use Google to search for information about specific 21E sites. This is the third and final video about searching for disposal site information. In episode 93A, we talked about how to use the EDEP file viewer, and in episode 93B, we covered the searchable sites list. But really, what could be easier than just simply using Google to look up 21E site information? Well, let's try it. Say I'm interested in reports that talk about the presence of arsenic at 21E sites. So I go to google.com and search using keywords like MassDEP, arsenic, 21E site, and report. Could it be that simple? Well, here are the results. And the first thing you notice is that there are lots of results that you'll have to look through. With any luck, you'll have an intern who can help you go through it and read those 7,430 results for the one or two documents that you're actually interested in. This is not the most efficient way to do a Google search for 21D site information. There must be a better way. And in fact, there is. And there are only two things you need to know about it. First, you have to tell Google where to do your search. You need to know the name of the server that stores the 21E reports that you want to search through. And then you need to tell Google what to search for. To avoid receiving thousands of results like we just did, you need to be very, very specific in your search to narrow it down. So let's start with the name of the site that actually stores the reports. The site name is eeaonline.eea.state.ma.us. Now, when I say that you need to be very specific in your search, I'll show you why. One of the benefits of using Google to search these documents is that you can search for chemicals, which you can't do using EDEP or the searchable sites list. But the temptation is to just put in the chemical name. So say that I'm interested in PCBs. If you just search for PCBs, you'll get over 3,400 results. That's a lot to comb through, so you need to narrow that down. Well, what I'm really interested in is PCBs in sediment. That's 2,610 results. Hmm. How about PCBs in sediment in Malden? That's getting better, 237 results. But what I'm really interested in is the effects that PCBs may have on the ecosystem, particularly alewife in the Malden River. So how about searching for PCBs, sediment, Malden, and alewife? Now we're talking two results. The more you can narrow it down, the more specific you can be about what you're interested in, the more efficient and the more productive the search is going to be. So now we'll go back to google.com and bring up the search page, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. You'll notice in the lower right-hand corner, there's a button called Settings. Click on it. That brings up a short list that includes advanced search. That's where you want to go. The advanced search pages are split into two big sections. The top section is the search criteria, and there are different ways of entering that. In the bottom section are ways of narrowing where you're going to search and what you're going to search for. We'll zoom in so you can see. Again, at the top, there are different ways of entering your search criteria, and the big arrow at the bottom is pointing to the place where you put in the DEP server that holds the files that you want to search. This is exactly how I did the search for PCBs in sediment in the Malden River that might affect Elwife. Looking at the eeaonline.eea.state.ma.us server that holds the 21E documents. Looking at the results, look up at the Google search line and you'll see the information that we entered, the, the search criteria. And you can also see how the search has been narrowed to the site eeaonline.eea.state.ma.us. You also see that we narrowed those thousands of documents down to just two. It's as simple as that. Just remember eeaonline.eea.state.ma.us is the location that stores the 21E site reports. I cannot stress enough, you should be very, very, very specific in your search in order to narrow down these results. And remember, you don't have to go to the advanced search page every time you do this. You can just enter the search in the format search terms, site, colon, and then the URL in any Google search box. So there you have three different ways of searching the DEB files for information that you might want about 21E sites. Each approach has its strengths and weaknesses. So depending upon the type of search you need to do and the type of information you're looking for, you can use the EDP search, 
the searchable sites list, or simply Google to look for sites that are of interest to you. Good luck and good searching.